I'm going to play a clip for you of Fox News propagandist Laura Ingraham casually mentioning before a commercial break. Oh, this story about uh, vets being thrown out of hotels to put in illegals. Turns out the story was completely false. Don't know why anybody would make it up. Uh, we'll talk to you later. See you on tomorrow's show. Very casually saying that entire story, my whole network covered for days. Turns out it was made up. It happened so quickly, you might not even notice it. Listen to this. All right, before we go, a little update on a story we brought you this week about homeless vets being displaced from hotels so that illegals could move in. Turns out the group behind the claim made it up. We have no clue as to why anyone would do such a thing, but we'll bring you any updates should they come. <laughs> that is the, this is crazy stuff, guys. This is really, really crazy. We ran stories nonstop for a week based on no sourcing on a total lie. And we got caught. We don't know why anyone would make this up because they got you to cover it, Laura. This is the entire point. The, the false naivete. Why would anyone make up a story that makes Biden look bad and undocumented immigrants look bad? and makes veterans appear to be the victims of undocumented immigrants. Why would anyone make that up? Well, it's because this is what your network traffics in, Laura. Uh, some other guy also issued th this retraction was like Mar this one was 30 seconds instead of 20 seconds. Quick update on a story from earlier this week about homeless veterans being displaced from a hotel in Newburgh, New York yeah. uh, to make room for migrants. We're now looking into new reports that a veterans advocate misled lawmakers about or and media outlets about a story that some homeless men may have uh, been hired to pose as veterans. The, the equivocation we're looking into some claims that maybe someone else lied and it's possible like the entire thing was a complete hoax meant to fire people up. We've reached out to the organization for a statement, but so far have not heard back. We'll send it back to you. Yeah, there's enough chaos with that potentially false stories running around out there. Nate. Yeah, we it's too chaotic out there for false stories to be running around unchecked, which we do all the time which we do all the time. There's a Daily Beast article that sums this up. Fox News stoked outrage over migrants displacing homeless vets. It was a hoax. Fox News and the rest of right wing media went wild for a week over a now debunked story about New York hotels booting homeless vets to accommodate asylum seekers. This is what they do. And the false innocence. We can't imagine why. Why would anyone make this up? Well, why did people make things up about Hillary and Obama and Biden and Hunter Biden and whistleblowers that don't exist? This is what they do to try to convince people to come to their political side. And this is the equivalent of a week of page one newspaper headlines and then a Sunday retraction on page B12. Uh, it's it's the same thing. A week of headlines, 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 the five with a big blockbuster discussion. Who is really the worst person involved in this situation where vets are being kicked out to put undocumented immigrants in? They don't call them undocumented immigrants, by the way. And then, oh, real quick, before we go, it's 9.59 and 40 seconds now. Uh, before we go, that uh, story seems someone made it up. We don't know why, but uh, we'll look into it anyway. And of course, only a fraction of the audience sees the retraction. And the cycle continues and continues. Laura Ingram and the entire network should be ashamed of themselves, particularly in the midst of hundreds of millions of dollars in lawsuits, actually billions in lawsuits with nearly a billion in settlements so far over untrue things that they have said. Disgusting and the casual nature with 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 which they do the retraction is just like the cherry on top or the bottom of the barrel or call it what you will. One of our sponsors today is Bon Charge. I have always enjoyed dry saunas. You get in there, your heart rate is up, dilates the blood vessels, can soothe achy joints and muscles. It's relaxing. It's just a great way to remove a little stress. Bon Charge is the creator of the infrared sauna blanket, which you can enjoy from home. Super easy to set up. 
heats up fast. You don't have to have your head inside like at a traditional sauna at the gym. Nice for meditating or reading, getting work done, relaxing. I have found it to be a great way to unwind at the end of a long day. Easy to clean, sleek, lightweight design, easy to store and comes with a 12 month warranty. And of course, if you don't love it, returns are super easy. But I think you will love it. And you'll get 15 percent off when you go to bondcharge.com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman. The link is down below.